My sister never answered the phone. Even the most brilliant criminal mind could never have anticipated the twist of fate required to place Jennifer McCabe inside of a vehicle, engaging in phone calls, all the while unwittingly leaving her voice recorded on John O'Keefe's voicemail. Otherwise, we'd have never known what she said on her nine-second call to Nicole at 6.07 a.m. Listen closely. Does that sound about right? About right, and there were a number of other calls that showed answered that weren't answered. So. Now imagine a scenario. It's 6.07 a.m. And as you lie in bed asleep, following a night of heavy drinking with guests at your home. Your phone rings. Surprised by such an unusual occurrence so early in the morning, you reach to see who it is. It's an incoming call from your sister. You press accept and hold the phone to your ear. She never answered the phone regardless. Hello. Someone's coming out to help. Hello. Someone's coming out, out where? To help who and why are you speaking that way? In our view, the only way this call makes any sense is if the person receiving it had prior knowledge and is expecting a signal that the authorities are on their way and already knows. The calls were not answered. That the call is coming from right outside their window. The 911 call. The two calls to Jen's sister, Nicole. The screenshot of Brian Albert's contact information and 15 other call entries were deleted by Jen McCabe later that morning, according to forensics. There's record of 34 outgoing and 29 incoming calls shown on Jen's call log, all made between 5.33 a.m. and 6.27 p.m. Within those 12 hours and 54 minutes, she spent 4 hours and 36 minutes of that time speaking on the phone. She spoke most frequently to Kerry Roberts, with a total of 14 exchanges between them. She conversed with Brian Albert six times and with his wife, her sister Nicole Albert, a total of nine times.